being the rebound or being re you know rebound I, I don't know what's oh, the shit. term what's the term <laughs> or using someone being as a reboundee or yeah, being a rebounder rebounder. <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh lord um so god that's almost two parts right yeah let's talk about being a reboundee first okay you were somebody's using you to be okay for the rebound all right so um i do have some experience in this i'm happy to report i have limited experience in this because i identified it very early on mm -hmm. and while our female viewing audience would probably think that guys like well guys like me i'm not going to speak for you uh would love to be that guy mm -hmm. uh i'm I'm not that guy. I don't want to be that guy um, <clears throat> because nothing good can come from it. So um, I don't want to be the guy that I don't want to be the next guy after the last relationship that ended for whatever horrible reason. Okay. I'd rather them go swim, come back and see me in six months. Okay. I disagree. I know you would. <laughs> I love uh, you, man. <laughs> um, now give everybody the answer they really want to hear. So, because uh, I'm such a wuss. I disagree. I think uh, being a reboundee, being the person receiving the rebounder. Yep, yep. Um, yep. I think it's all about honesty. That rebounder comes to you and just says, "Hey, look, I'm fresh out of a really bad situation. I really just need some companionship right now. Um, mm -hmm. We're good." Because the honesty is there. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to resign. You can come sit in my chair. <laughs> I quit, Ian. I, I did take your baby Episode calf. Episode three, I just quit. I, I did take Bertha, your baby yeah, calf. Yeah, you did take my calf. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that actually, not only is that the right answer, that's the right answer to every question. If you're going to date the right way, mm -hmm. Because if you're just honest, even when it feels kind of uh, yucky, like, look, I, at my age, I, I'm at an age where honesty has done more to harm me than to help me. But I still do it. Because I just don't want to, I don't want to piss people off, ruin I my feel reputation. Like honesty is all we've got. Yeah, it, you don't want to be a herder. I'm not a herder. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to hurt somebody's and feelings. Here's the thing sometimes being life. honest, let me rephrase that. Probably most of the time being honest mm. is not, it's always not easy. It's Correct. sometimes hurtful, but it's always the right thing. It's always the right thing. So we've got one requested, one rejected for that side. Mm -hmm. The flip side of the coin is how do you feel if you were broken up with needing <laughs> to go find a rebound? I went first last time. <laughs> I'm waiting for your lead, boss. Um, <clears throat> Maverick over there. I'm Goose. Um, so, being a rebounder, um, my best response for that would be, um, I'll fall back to the honesty statement because you need to say, you need to recognize where you're at in this situation. That said, you can't come off as a needy rebounder, MRF. Yeah. The, the needy word. Yeah. The needy word. So you, you can. It's like, it's like dirty laundry to me. You can never come across needy. But if you can come across and say, hey, look, I'm fresh out of a relationship. I'm looking for some companionship. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm at. Are we good? They have an option to bail. <sighs> they can do their negative 4G dive inverted. Right? <laughs> I love Top Gun references, yeah. by the way. I think neither negative. Uh, Tower requesting a flyby. I think the was it negative Top Gun Ghost Rider. The pattern summer? is full. Maybe. Yeah, hopefully. Um, so they can, you know, they, they can they can bug out. They can see the MIG and bug out. Yeah. Yep, um, yep. Or they can say, you know what, I'm in. Okay, so I'm going to take this to another level. And I know this is request to reject, but this this will veer here. So, does said relationship include benefits 
wink, wink. Okay. Right, because that's that's what that's the issue. Like if if a girl came to me and said, "Look, my two year boyfriend uh, was not my boyfriend. I found out that I was actually the side chick." And I just want somebody like you, really cool, fun, conversational. You got a Harley, you know, just hang out. Let's have fun. I, I'm totally that guy. But when you commingle the benefit thing, it doesn't work. Okay. Eventually it will break. All right. I love to challenge people. And so now I'm going to challenge you. Hit. Oh, man. <laughs> you could actually defeat me. So let's what, hear it. What if that's just what she really needed? Oh, here's the thing. Here you are. You're, you're you and you're a good dude, right? Yeah. You're not going to screw anybody over. No, that's that's what she role. needed. And if you don't give that to her, she's going to go possibly get what she needs from the wrong dude. Oh, she will. Or she'll get it somewhere else. But right. is that your problem? So, so what is the better option? Is that your problem though? The better option for me, she's better off getting it somewhere else. Okay. Uh, I feel bad about that, mm -hmm. but whoever the next guy is, mm -hmm. is going to end up being the bad guy, and I'm not the bad guy. I think you can be a rebounder without being a bad guy. Right, but when you, when you co-mingle the benefits, mm -hmm. right, friends with benefits, let's just call it what it is, um, that's a no-go for me. <laughs> <laughs>